Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name's James Marley, and today we're talking about big moves in the small cap space. I'm joined by James Doherty from Lennox and Oscar Oberg from Wilson Asset Management. Oscar, we'll talk with you. start with you. Wisetech Global, big PE, big moves, buy, hold or sell? Wisetech, it, it's a sell, sell for us. The valuation is extreme, particularly for a company that's uh, actually missed earnings expectations, believe it or not, in the last two results. It's also a roll-up. It's made over 20 acquisitions in the, over the past 18 months. There's integration risks. We think it's a sell. Big multiple, James. Buy, hold or sell on Wisetech? Yeah, agree with Oscar. It's a sell. Um, can't justify the valuation. Yes, technology seems good. Addressable market is very large, but it feels like today's share price is capturing all that. Add to that, the, the latest data points on organic growth have been probably not what we were hoped. Okay. Afterpay, it's been an absolute tearaway success story. Buy, hold or sell? Uh, it's a sell for us as well. Again, it comes down to valuation. They, they do have a, a really innovative product that seems to have um, captured uh, consumers' attention, but it feels like today's share price is capturing all the upside and you have some near-term uh, regulatory risk coming maybe. Okay. Oscar, Jeff told me this thing was going to be the next REA a bit over a year ago. Buy, hold or sell on Afterbait? Well, it almost got there in valuation terms about a few weeks ago, James. But uh, look, we're a hold on, uh, on Afterpay. I think management's done a great job, uh, particularly in the US so far, which is in an early stage. But I think the US, is, the US opportunity has been factored in more than enough by the share price. It's a hold for us now. Okay. Flexi Group, it spent some time in the doldrums for a while. It was a value play for a long period of time. Buy, hold or sell? Look, it's, it's a buy for us. Um, I think the, the, the result was very positive. Um, we certainly uh, are starting to see organic growth return to this business and there's more cost out to come through in FY19. Uh, new CEO will be very positive for the business and can really focus on the growth of the cards business. It's trading at eight times PE, growing in double digits, it's a buy. Okay. Uh, court investors by surprise, the result, James, buy, hold or sell on flexies? No, it's a hold for us. Um, yes, it is cheap. Uh, it looks like the business has stabilised but we just think they, they can't catch up from a lack of, kind of innovation and investment in their product suite for a number of years and sorry, uh, disruptors like um, Zipco or Afterpay are going to take market share away from them. Okay, another business that's been around for a while, bit of a checkered history, Infomedia, buy, hold or sell? Uh, it's a hold for us. Uh, the FY18 result was, was really good. The new CEO, Jonathan Rubenstein, appears to have got the business back into to growth mode, but there was a big share price move in August that probably puts it at fair value now. For us to see it as a buy, you need to see global growth accelerate significantly. Okay. Oscar, uh, Infomedia, not a really um, well-known or widely held business. Buy, hold or sell? Yeah, it's a buy for us. We own it in our, in our micro cap fund. Uh, we think uh, management's really focused on growth here. Uh, the super service uh, division outperformed expectations at the recent result. There's plenty of organic growth opportunities in a large market and also acquisitions, so it's a buy. Okay. We're all using our mobile phones, uh, dining out on data. Next DC, buy, hold or sell? It's a hold for us. Uh, look, management's done a great job. There's clearly there's uh, structural tailwinds in this sector, but there's competition coming in and the valuation's extreme. It's a hold. Okay. Next DC, it's been a darling of the market. Buy, hold or sell? No, the same. We're a hold. Look, at, at Craig Scroggy, he's done a great job for five years now, um, being you know, exposed to the thematic of data consumption and the shift to the cloud is always a good place to be. But the second half of FY18, we saw sales slow significantly. And that is a concern given they're expanding their capacity for the largest amount they've ever done in the company's history. So we're worrying that they are losing market share to a, a lower price competitor. Okay. Well, you've got to be early on the small caps because when the big moves happen, you might be a bit late to the party.